Hello, Leo. Welcome to my channel, Frankie's Tarot. This is your general tarot reading for the next seven days. Whenever this video gets to you, I'm going to pull out the theme, any unexpected stuff coming your way. What are you focused on, the people around you? Money, career, and romance. What spirit wants you to know? I'll do Aries to Pisces at the end for those of you in very little communication with um, the person on your mind. I'll get a quick energy around that, what's going on. For those of you that have been asking about my tarot cards, guys, I have so freaking many and I don't even have all the boxes to them. I keep them in um, my own little bags. Uh, but the one that most people ask about is this one here, which is, it's called the Harry Potter deck. It's only major arcana. All I did was, I think on Etsy or YouTube, I, I mean on um, Amazon, was like, I saw Harry Potter cards. And I don't, and I know these came from England. The lady who did it and it was a year and a half ago or something so i don't even remember but all you have to do is look up harry potter cards and it's only a deck full of the major arcana and i did it one day um i just haven't i, keep, I haven't had the time to make a huge list um I, but i did it the other day and all you have to do is research it just look up harry potter deck um but yeah and i'll try it's just it's not on the top of my to-do list i'm sorry um I'm really sorry. I know you guys want want to know what cards we always use. We have, you're discovering the myriad facets of who you are. Um, and we have conjunction and we have justice showing up for you. So we do see a strong energy the next seven days of things coming into alignment for you. You may find closure. You might find justice prevail on itself. You, you're um, completing a contract of some sort. Uh, karma is coming to a close. You're definitely in a situation or have been dealing with a situation um, that has helped you grow a little bit. Um, you've learned a lot. Uh, you've been learning a lot. So this is just uh, really kind of showing that, you know, whatever you have gone through or been going through, obviously you've been finding out parts about yourselves that you didn't even know existed or that you could do, right? You've learned a lot. Justice card being the overall theme here is that we do see true love. We see harmony coming in. We see an unconjunction right here. We see empowerment and we see joining forces with somebody. So we see a relationship with you, with yourself, with money, with people around you, with relationships, with the person important in your life, a love relationship. We see this coming into... Um, alignment okay so the relationship may intensify with the conjunction energy really means that you guys are on that zero zero like you are right on the same wavelength you are right there with each other um the, the relationship you may find strengthens during this time period this is a really good opportunity for you to reconcile um, any differences um, or anything that's going on within or without Okay, I do have Marsy energy. So I have a Libra energy. I have a Scorpio Aries energy. I have a Gemini energy and a Virgo energy around you. I also have a Cancer energy and a Scorpio energy around you as well. Um, you know, circumstances have been changing. They've been a little bit uncertain for you um, in the recent days. And you're about to see some sort of clarity, receiving some sort of communication. I think some of you may find yourself um being a lot more active in, in going places doing things maybe even learning learning some new things that you didn't even know so it's a real strong energy around you and i also see um paying attention to your routine daily uh routine your health and things like that so i feel like um a very strong empowering energy around you leo where you're just getting things in order and you're just feeling good and this House three energy kind of says short trips, travel, communication, social activities. So you may find that you're just feeling really good lately because things are coming into balance and you're doing more, you're taking more action and you're feeling more independent and, um, and more passionate or more passion coming into your life. So I do, I like this energy for you. So let me pull out some tarot for you and see where you're at. What are you focused on? that you see maybe as a challenge. And let's see the people around you. All 
All right, here you are, the world card. All right, so you try, you are trying to accomplish a lot in your life. You're, you're reaching a huge milestone in your life. There could be some traveling coming in for you as well too, um, but you've really learned a lot about who you are. Whatever you've been doing in this past cycle that you've been on, okay, it could be a year, five years, ten years, who knows, twenty years, your whole life. I don't know, but you've definitely learned a lot about yourself here in the recent. Um, recent time period and it's shown you who you are you become more independent and very accomplished um you are just starting to really own who you are i just get this energy of empowerment really embracing your your being who you are the way you look the way you show up the way you um you know, the way you want to appear to the people around you, the, the parts of you that you want to show the world, the, the new parts of you that you're learning that you want everybody to see, okay? All right, what are you finding as a challenge, All right? We got the page of pentacles. Your main focus here is is on work, is on learning. Maybe there's, um, maybe you feel stuck, all right? The page of pentacles can, in a challenge position, can mean like you just, you know, maybe you feel like you, you need a new opportunity. You've accomplished everything you've accomplished so far. And maybe now you're like, all right, everything's where it's meant to be. But now I feel like, you know, I need something new. I'm ready for something new. And you're waiting for a new opportunity or you're waiting for some sort of knowledge or some, you know, maybe you will need to extend your knowledge or learn something new um, so that you can add to your next chapter. Some of you, you've really made it to a point where you've accomplished what you set out to accomplish in your life, that really it's all about you starting something completely new. So you could be walking out of one world into a completely new world and you don't even know where to begin. Okay, so you you have learned so much about yourself during this last chapter that it's like you know now that you can do so much more, but you're in this sort of uh, energy of, all right, I know I've got more confidence. I know I can do all these things I never thought I could do before. I'm, you know, but but where are my opportunities and what do I do with this energy? What do I do with this new sense of empowerment? And, you know, maybe you're waiting for the right opportunity to come in and it just hasn't come in for you yet. All right. So let's see the people around you. All right. We have the page of cups. So you've got somebody around you that is just in love with you. All right. So this could be a new person coming in around you or somebody new that you've been connecting to. Um, but I do feel like somebody's really crushing on you. Um, the challenge in the page being in a challenge position, it could be your challenge is that you um, haven't heard the news that you wanted to hear from maybe a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Maybe there is somebody you wanted a sincere apology from for some of you and you haven't. And then yet we do see a possibility here, the page of cups, a person around you may be coming in and apologizing or letting you know that they are thinking about you. So remember, justice is the main theme here. So that's why I'm gonna pull up these messages here from the page of cups and justice. It might be an apology. It might be somebody you know, saying, I'm sorry, I left you hanging, you know, things like that. Another thing is if you're waiting on this opportunity or this new job or this, you're trying to manifest money in, right? We have justice talks about money, talks about success when it comes to your business, all right? So this is, you're, you're focusing on this. Maybe you're focusing on a little bit too much um, and relaxing a little bit that things are going to come in, uh, you know, your work, your, this opportunity, everything is going to intensify. It's going to, it's going to turn into something for you um and some of you might just need to take your focus off it a little bit um we do see that there is somebody around you you may receive some sort of message um the next seven days somebody if this is somebody completely new somebody just might be like it could be just a simple little hey but you know that it's a weird hey it's like a hey but you know it's like uh you don't just ever text me and say hey type of thing you know what i mean uh, you'll know, but there's definitely a message of love coming in. So, and it could be the beginning of a true love story um, with the justice card showing up. All right. So, and again, you could just be getting a message from a really, um, an opportunity from somebody. This could be a new person coming in, bringing in an opportunity for business. Both this at this point can go in that direction because this is just the people around you. And this could be just also saying the people around you really adore you, really love you. 
all right really do so money career and romance and um, what spirit wants you to focus on so we have queen of cups we have the ace of cups and we have the queen of wands guys all right so some of you you have a strong cancer pisces scorpio true love um you got fire and water here ace of cups queen of cups ace of cups queen of wands there you are all right now this could be a perfect partnership for you remember join in forces here we have conjunction join in forces it's funny because i feel like i my sister's a fire sign and i'm the water sign and we join forces and um, we empower each other to help each other out with work and justice and that's exactly what i see here it's like the two of us um just we just empower each other in the same direction and that's what i feel i feel like for some of you this could read that way for you somebody that you have a lot of love for is your joining forces whether it's with your this person coming towards you might be a partner that ends up being a, a power couple where you end up working together and um falling in love and in, in, in creating a relationship together you know, and a lot of you, there's two people. I am seeing two people around you that, that you have an offer coming in from because we do see the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Cups, which can be both um, two people that you want to receive an offer from. And it does look, you're getting justice and you're getting the conjunction card. So it looks as though, Leo, it's like you basically have everybody, you know, at the, in the palm of your hand. You can do what you want. You're so accomplished here, the world card. You're, you're walking into um, an energy of, right? It's like walking into a magical land where you know you can manifest and you know how it works now. And you're just going going with it and doing it all right so we do see love and romance and even for money success the queen of wands shows you being confident and being very successful uh the ace of cups i recently just realized i thought it would have been the ace of pentacles but the ace of cups can show that you're moving into a new home new office new building um a new tier right moving a new level um, but this is a possibility that you are partnering up with somebody for business and you are moving, um, you're being offered um, a very important position. So I do feel like justice, success, and business-wise. All right. And for many of you, you have the option between a water and fire sign when it comes to love. Um, you will be, look, I got the two of pentacles. You've got decisions to make. Um, you have love around you. You have your choices. Your options are open. I have the death card, all right? So the death card for me says either you got to let go of somebody and and move on, somebody new, a rebirth of somebody new. It could be a Scorpio energy. But it also can be talking about um, something that has ended is now being rebirthed and it's turning out to be you're in more alignment with this person and the connection is very empowering now. So whatever transformation has gone on between you and this person, the transformation is so empowering, is so um, powerful that it's just the only, the, there's so much, um, there, I don't want to say there's so much, I want to say um, the success between the two of you. I don't know how else to say that. I just want to say it's going to be very successful. All right. So let me see. I got the seven of wands here. So I feel like spirit just wants you to hold your ground, wants you to defend yourself, wants you to stand in your power, wants you to stay in your bubble. Anybody, you're walking into a new realm, all right? You're walking into a new uh, part of life, right? It's like you're walking into a whole new world. And spirit really wants you to be grounded, really wants you to feel, you know, this empowerment, really wants you to defend yourself and anything that comes your way like slay the slay the dragons all right the seven of wands you've just possibilities are unlimited for you right now you are becoming such a strong individual and you have so much goodness coming in for you that anything from the past world or 2022 trying to still come in and, and wreak havoc in your life, whether they realize it or not, people don't realize some, you know, what they're doing or what they're saying, you know, but you do now, you see the depths. 
So you can, when somebody's talking, you can see where they're at, where, where it's coming from, what they're doing and how hurt they are or what wounds they have and blah, blah, blah. But at this point, it doesn't mean that you have to deal with it, right? So I just feel like Spirit's saying, when this shit's coming towards you, slay them. Done. I have no more time for this. Everything else that's coming in your life, just the way these cards are sitting here, um, you know, with this, with these two partners, the Ace of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, you know, prioritizing what's really important to you. And it just seems like you have or you will, all right? Things are going to come into strong alignment with you, all right? And look, as I said, that the star card at the bottom of the deck. So we have universal alignment. You walking in line with, with your soul's purpose, your soul's direction. Um, a lot of prosperity there with the ace, with the star card. So the star card talks about you being the, sh the star of your show too, being very famous. And if you are dealing with social media, the house three, and you are moving into this whole new world, it's like um, you're the star of your show and you have a possibility of being very, very wealthy, famous, and, um, and your business being very successful no matter what you decide to do. All right. So a lot of transformation, a lot of change here. And um, I do feel like you have whoever is around you or whoever you're reconciling with or whoever you are currently feeling like you're joining forces with. This is you have very few around you, but the ones that you do, it's like it's like you're letting go of a lot and you're holding on to a few. And these few are so influential and um they act you guys activate each other in ways to grow i mean it's all about growth and expansion all right so that's what i've got for you i hope you can take away something from that reading leo i um like i said we're shifting into 2023 and you know, as I'm traveling this year, you know, and I'm moving different time zones and stuff, I'm noticing different energies around everywhere I go. And I'm trying to tap into and figure out this January energy. And so I'm just right now going with whatever wants to come through in my readings until I grasp or get a hang of what the change is. Because 2023, honestly, for me, already feels like it's just quite it's just there's i know there's a shift there's been some shifts there's been a lot that's it's different even from last month but there's something quiet and something that i just haven't quite nailed yet um and i'm trying to figure that out so we'll see how it plays out as we move um, january is usually like that for me it's like it's a whole new beginning a whole new outlook and We'll see. We'll see. February is my favorite month. Aries, when times got tough, I gave up on you too soon. All right, but there's another opportunity coming in. There's that open door, all right? The page of pentacles here. Um, it's like maybe what you're worried about. This person um, has made a promise or maybe they, you're know, afraid they don't want to get back together or whatever, but they gave up on you too soon, but they're coming back in possibly with some flowers for you. I mean, or, you know, reconciliation. Like, hey, I'm sorry, a gift. Taurus, I feel like you're on the other side of my every breath, right? So Taurus is thinking about their future and you're in it, okay? <laughs> Gemini, Gemini, I know we've been together in past lives. I recognize you. You were never a stranger to me. Gemini is thinking practical and thinking about stability and maybe even wanting to build a solid foundation with you. Cancer, I should have believed in you. You always had my best interests at heart. I right, trust your feelings about cancer. Um, they're definitely in their emotions about you, and you guys might dream about each other, but definitely trust your intuition um, and see if this person um, is, is being honest with you. It's going to be different for each and every one of you. If this person's not um, meant to be in your life, as you're walking into this through this new portal, all right, it's going to be heavy for some of you to make that decision of whether or not you want to take this person with you. All right, we have Leo. I always look for you at the airports um, as if we'll be in the same place th at the same time. Oh, we have cancer energy here. Home, family, this person wants, they feel like you're their home, that you're their one. 
Um, that is Virgo. Yeah, Virgo can see themselves with you, uh, Leo. This might be... I know this is the part where you're thinking about somebody, but this could be new love coming in for some of you too. But it's definitely, I know this is the part where you already know this person. But this is, you guys, it feels like you might have a rebirth here. Um, Libra, I still feel your energy around me. I never believed in these things before. I do now. All right, this person has very strong Scorpio presence. Um, and so they're seeing things deeper. They're going through a transformation here. Um, and it's intense for them. All right, so this is Libra for you, right? Yeah, you have Libra. There's something, and Libra was the main card here. So Leo and Libra, and there's some love story going on here. And I feel like huge transformation. You guys um, reconciling. There's true love here. Scorpio, you were my home, and now I feel like I'm I'm out in the cold. All right. But it's not over because this person may be, um, they've gone through some growth, okay? And we see celebration here, reconciliation, uh, this coming in. This is like a manifestation of seeds that have already been planted. This person wants to reconcile. Sagittarius, we have your silence feels safer to me. I don't want to get hurt again, but I'm still so in love with you. Capricorn, I fantasize about getting a second chance with you. I want to come home. You feel like my home. Aquarius, you were the love of my life. I didn't figure that out before. I know now that it's true. Dramatic change in Aquarius. Wow, a lot of profound. This is... Um, I love these kind of relationships when people are actually waking up and honoring and, and seeing and knowing discovering Pisces I'm in love with you and I'm ready to take action I want to build a beautiful life with you all right surrender and go with the flow with Pisces let fate take its course I love you Leo so so much and um I will see you soon take care